Time to buckle up because today we are going for a drive 25 miles down the second longest island in the United States and one of the few beaches that you can actually drive on in search of some fun family fishing out on the Texas Gulf Coast. So grab a rod and get ready for an adventure as we take this trip down to one of the world's most pristine fishing spots, Padre Island's Big Shell. Okay, so we have a bet going that in the next 23 miles, Paul thinks that we will see at least... Rachel thinks one YouTuber. When? I think more than one. You said two to three. Yeah, so I mean, there's nobody taking the four, so... You have to say two or three. All right, I'm saying two or three. That still makes some sense. Two or three. I'm saying Pick two one. Two. I'm pretty sure Paul is hoping it's Thresher. Always hoping it's Thresher, <laughs> but I doubt it. He's probably on the goodie. Okay, we did see the guys from Breakaway this morning, so I kind of... Those are really sparkly. She looked like Elton John. I would not doubt that she might be a YouTuber. Apparently, because they have a tripod... Two tripods. Two tripods. Sorry. Two tripods. That is an influencer. That was really nice. This gentleman is another YouTuber. So we immediately had to pull off the beach and come over and say hi. I believe this is... Texas Beach Club. And he looks ready to go. And so, I do have to say that it's the beginning of the new year and my new year's resolution is to come fishing more. Not just to look like some weird, desperate, wannabe blonde person. I know. He does love this guy. But yeah, I decided that this is not my new year's resolution. <laughs> that hair is not your new this year's This hair is not my new year's resolution. Hopefully it will be gone. By the next time you see my video. I saw it get hit. It took a pop. Yeah, I felt Little it. guy. It's on there, I think. Little, whatever it is. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You got something. It's jerky like a pompano, though. It is a whiting. Good bait. Hard hit. Good whiting. You know what? Let's. What do you think about putting him out for bait? I want to keep a few, but let, let's try him as bait out there. Right. Yeah, yeah, let's put him on the big rod. So we are setting up the big old uh, 30 wide here. I know it's really cold out, <laughs> but we're going to take a crack at it anyway. See if maybe there aren't some sharks out here. We're playing with it. My dad's got this uh, remote controlled boat for taking out baits. We didn't want to be getting wet because it's so cold out here, but we could definitely use the remote controlled boat to get the baits out there and have some fun with this. See if there's anything sitting on the outside. All right, ready to go. Quiet. Also, they Oh, yeah, set them right over here. We'll take them. Yeah, set them in that white cup if you would. I put my feet in the fan and he started pinching me. Okay. Get it, Odie, get it, get it, get that boat. <laughs> in the water, do you get them? I found them. We'll go do that. Okay. Or you'll go do that. I'm... Yeah, I'll go do that. You brought a bathing suit, right? Works for me. I'm I think fine. that thing's coming back, but I can't really be sure. So we got the boat taking the bait out there for us, and it dropped it off. It did a good job, took it about 300 meters out. We don't have like a camera or anything on the boat. Try the drone? So we don't know what direction it's going to. Oh, we do. We could take yeah, the drone out and fly the drone, drone over there. Yeah, too. The drone? Yeah, yeah. The Can you look at it for your, your camera and zoom in on it? Yeah, let me see. I think it's coming back. And. I can't see anything with it. Who's. Getting bigger. It's coming back this way, a little bit of an angle, but it's coming. All right, we've been having a little bit of difficulty with the boat. It's just kind of hard to tell after you hit the buckets to drop the baits, whether or not it's actually dropped them. A little bit slow. So I have questions about how it handles in anything, you know, more rough than this. You get tangled up. Yeah, the hook got snagged on the side of the boat. Yeah. Careful hook, did a job. <laughs> working the back one got wet so what I'm going to do here is do this again you ready just let the, the bell go loose 
Oh, okay, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna get back over there and let it go. What's going on here? But whatever is happening looks mischievous. To practice with the boat, I'm aiming for Rachel. <laughs> she knows what I'm doing. <laughs> She's waiting to cast his underway. <laughs> I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna get her. I veered off course to here, but I'm coming back for a return trip. There we go. Up oh, full speed. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> Getting those baits out was actually kind of time consuming. Uh, we did get a good distance on them, which is nice. Didn't have to get all soaking wet doing it because it's still chilly out here, even though it is warming up. This is what we're doing for most of these outfits. The ones that we took the boat way out there, those are some pretty big baits. I took a whiting about that big, live bait with a big, probably a six ounce surf weight. And that boat putted that thing about 300 meters. And then my dad did a similar one with a piece of cut jackfish. On these other rods, we're doing these pompano rigs with a shrimp and a piece of fish gum. That little float keeps them, you know, nice and high in the water column. And we're just casting that out to about how deep Rachel is. She's right on the edge of the sandbar. That's a game plan, and so far, no luck, although we've lost some bait. We did catch that whiting. It's kind of hard, you know, uh, doing all this stuff when, uh, you know, you, you also got to take a minute to kind of just clear your head and enjoy the, uh, you know, such a beautiful day. This is winter time in South Texas. We'll probably be losing the sweater here in a minute. So sometimes you just gotta count your blessings, you know? Did a little bit of a wait, man, but we finally got something. Good luck, Rick. Just right when you walk up. Probably a little whiting, but I don't mind collecting them either. Might be a red. That's fighting more like a red. Or a really big whiting. It's like a whiting, doesn't it? Pompano. Got one. Woohoo! All right. Yes, Pompano. Dinner. We ought to throw him on the pit. We need about 30 more of these and we'll be good. Yep. We'll put him on the pit when people start getting hungry again. We'll yeah. save this for like late afternoon. Okay, now. sounds good. Please, please get in the pompano. You still on? Yeah, I still got him. He's fighting. Dolphins out there. This is a sign that we need to go ahead and check these other baits. Yeah. Also, getting way out there like that might have been a thing. 
Or we just got a school that's just now coming through, maybe? Yeah, maybe the tide's starting to change. Hopefully that's another pompano. It is. Another pompano. Oh, fuel. Fuel pompano. Woohoo. Way to go. Are they big enough? They're all big enough. <laughs> Pompano Master. Dude. That's how to do it. That is what we've been wanting right there. Let's get some more of them. Alright, let's do it. This dark patch, all this trash right here, that is right on the back side of this little sandbar. See, this is the actual sandbar right here. This is the back side of it. And then I don't know if that's more trash or something right on the other side of the sandbar, but we we're trying to get out into the middle of the gut over there. This dark area, that might be mullet. There's a bunch of them there. Right out in the middle of it. Again. Sandbar, this dark patch right here. So this is mullet. We were looking at that a minute ago. Sounds like someone took a spill into the icy waters. That'll work. That is money right there. Yep. Look at how pretty this water is. If it wasn't 60 degrees, it'd be kind of reminiscent of Mexico. All right, sounds good to me. Maybe let it sit for a second. Winner, winner, man. You know, one of the things that, the things that I just really love about days like today is you're catching loads and loads and loads of fish that you're just, you're adding to the box, you're adding to the pile, and they're all pretty easy to fillet. It's not a, it's not a hard day, you're not sweating, you're not working, you're just out here enjoying the sun, and you're getting in all these little fish, and that's okay, like, they're, they're great eating whiting and pompano, all of these, they're, they're just easy. It's just easy. It's great for a fish fry. It's a good family time. I just love doing this. I love, I love these little whiting. I am totally good with this. Whiting, add to the pile. Maybe. There you go. Bring him on over here. No, 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 get him. Get him. Get him. There you go. Now bring him on over here. Over here. No, 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 no. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Good boy. Just take it. <laughs> Just 
flings it at you? No. The real clicking. No. It was for a minute, but it stopped. Well, let's give it a second. See if he comes back. Kadoshian line was was starting blowing the wind a little bit, and that caught my attention. And then it went back out. And I could hear the reel going. Oh man. Hey, you know what? Only one way to find out. Let's reel it in, I guess. You got this thing going? Yeah. Something pulled on it. I was going to reel it in see what left of our bait. Oh, man. That is so dramatic when that reel starts screaming. <laughs> bait whatever it was got your bait off of there yeah it did. got the he came out and grabbed the whiting and the hook pulled loose from the whiting it's probably getting loose yeah I, I suspect it was a big redfish um, i don't have any basis for that it just <laughs> there wasn't a cut piece of bait left on there you know the whiting had been completely stripped off the hook that's why i'm like you think it was really a big redfish or you think it was a shark no because the shark was being hooked but whatever it was Damn, like that, that was a heartbreaker. Oh, look at this, look at this. This guy's got something. Let's see what this dude's got. He's got something good yet. Oh, I swear, if he's got oh, a no. big whiting in his mouth, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, his hand's sore. <laughs> whoa, 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 it's, it's big enough for a tuber. It's a tuber. Yeah, this is, he needs help with this one. We're gonna get a good catch on camera here. You're not gonna look up so far. <laughs> I don't wanna like creep him in his face. I don't know what the, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get a little closer here. Oh yeah, we got two, we got three cameras on this one. This is the big time. Now we're going to, Rachel and I will provide for you some commentary on the catch <laughs> of the day. It's not ours. Well, oh, we'll see. Drag. Your drag. He's using the same rigs that we are on those other rods for those pumping up. This one doesn't look like he's probably Oh, 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 look oh, at oh, that. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that out there. I know. It's a big damn red. That? Are y'all seeing that? It probably has a big old whiting in its mouth, too. Right. He's got the turducken of fish, the whiting with the mullet. He's definitely not doing the turducken. He should be doing the turducken because that's the only way to go. I'm not judging whether or not he should. I'm saying that he is definitely not because that is a Rachel special. You know what else is a Rachel special? Me. I thought the answer was me. Oh, okay. Come on, man. Come pull on, it up pull where it people in. can see it. All of us are watching. What do you, what do you got? Oh, oh, ooh, ooh, that's ooh, really it's got some fight. Oh, that's a big damn red. <laughs> you can see it from here, and we're like not even on top of it. That is the damn fish that I lost. Nice fish! Good job. There you oh, are. Nice. Show it, show it, show it. You're gonna... Are you sure that's not your body? That is your body. Yes, 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 yes. What a dude. He's gonna send it back in the ocean. <laughs> like you should. Yeah, he's doing good. Nice. As I was saying, my fish was uh, gonna be at least three times that big. Are you sure that was your body? Yeah. Oh, oh, we're sliding. We're sliding. <laughs>